Hey there, my name is Matt Donahue and I am the instructor for Organic Chemistry 1, which is CHE 255, and this is the Fall 2021 Syllabus Tour. And so what I intend to do uh, in this video is walk you through the syllabus, which includes um, the expectations for the course, uh, a course schedule, uh, what we'll be doing in the lectures, and what you'll have to do for assessments to earn your, your grade. So again, my name's Matt Donahue, you can call me Matt. Uh, this course will be meeting in Walker Science Building Room 137 on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you need to meet me outside of that, um, you'll use the Microsoft Bookings app to schedule a 30-minute meeting. So basically, you'll click on this, it will bring up my schedule. You can pick a time uh, that works for you. And so what well, that will reserve is uh, a slot on my calendar and then we will meet uh, virtually in this, this Zoom room here, the Zoom office. Uh, I have an iPad so we can, we can go through problems that you have, we can draw things out and discuss. So my actual physical office is in the Hattiesburg campus, it's in the tech building, uh, room 429. So if you need to contact me, you can use email so there's my USM email address. Uh, I typically will try to respond within eight hours. Uh, if you don't get a response, uh, please just follow up with another email. My office phone is here. Uh, you'll typically leave a voicemail, which I will respond to. So I have a YouTube channel listed here. So I post screencasts on there. Um, go ahead and subscribe to that. There's actually a Canvas assignment for you to subscribe to that and upload evidence that you did. So additional ways of, of seeing what I do here at USM, I have a Twitter account, that's my research group Twitter. Uh, also there's a research website that I run that, that shows the research that I do here at USM. So this course uh, is basically three credit hours and you'll need to know the material from chemistry one and two uh, at USM, that's CHE 106 and 107. Uh, if, you, if you are, uh, if you do need a review on that, uh, the program of chemistry and biochemistry manages a tutorial center in Walker Science 238. So later on uh, within the week, uh, the, of, of next week sometime. I'll, I'll post the schedule where the, the teaching assistants that uh, specialize in organic, when they are in that room, so you can align your times with theirs if you need to see them. So what is, what is the goal of this course? What is the aim? Uh, so basically, we're gonna look at the chemistry of carbon-containing molecules. So we're gonna start pretty basic with a review of Gen Chem. We're gonna learn how to build molecules how atoms bonded to one another form functional groups, how those functional groups give molecules properties, and how we as humans use those properties for the greater good of civilization. So our objectives, what is intended through this course? Uh, so really in, in broad terms, um, not a whole lot of you are chemistry majors, you major in other things. So to be successful in this course, you really need to to demonstrate proficiency in learning new concepts through strategies of metacognition and pattern recognition. And I'll explain what those things are as we go through the lectures. Develop analytical problem solving skills by employing good study practices. And then finally, appreciate the historical significance of organic chemistry and advancement of human civilization. So as I stated, um, you know, if you're asking yourself why are you sitting in this course, that's obviously a, val a valid question. Um, there are a lot of skills you can develop in this course that will relate to other courses uh, in, in your, your learning development. So what's, what's particularly relevant to you are these student learning outcomes. So what is measured in this course? How do you earn your grade? So I encourage you to read you know, these six learning outcomes uh, here. The, the verbs highlighted in green are the action verbs of things that you need to do to demonstrate you understand the material. The course learning materials, uh, you will access these through Canvas directly. I will have a separate Canvas tour video 
that shows you how to access the Wiley resources. Uh, everything's run through Canvas. So you will need uh, technology for this course outside uh, the lectures that we have together. So you need a functioning desktop or laptop computer to run Canvas. Required software uh, is listed here. These are things you'll, you'll need basically to be a successful student here at USM, so you can go through that. Uh, here's the course delivery. So basically there are five modules in this course. Within the modules are the different chapters. These are the total class periods that we'll, we'll spend on those chapters, the lectures. Each module has a, a pre-module quiz. These are all run through Canvas. The, the problem sets are run through Canvas. The exams are in class. And then finally this last column here gives you a rough estimate of the time you need to spend completing these learning activities as, as highlighted below. So what are the learning activities? Um, there are six listed here. There are textbook readings. This is pretty much on your own. You need to read the textbook to be successful. You need to attend lecture. Uh, you'll need to do Canvas pre-module quizzes. Uh, these are basically questions related to the syllabus uh, so that you understand what the syllabus uh, content is for each module. You'll do textbook problems. These will, will practice basically for the exams, you'll do the exams, and then there'll be different activities for engagement and professional development. So good study practices, this basically boils down to uh, you need to do something for this class each and every day. So about for every one hour of contact time, that's, that's lectures, you need to spend about two to three hours outside of lecture uh, preparing or practicing for this course. So the tentative schedule of uh, class topics, again, this is scheduled to change, um, or subject to change, excuse me, depending on the pandemic and what the university decides to do. Uh, but for now, we're gonna intend on meeting face-to-face -face throughout the semester. So here's a module, module one. This is uh, the, the, the broad objective here for the module. Here's a synopsis. There's the required reading from the text. So for example, module one, you need to read uh, chapters one and two. These are module learning outcomes. So again, we have course learning outcomes. These are now module learning outcomes. Again, the verbs in green are what you need to demonstrate uh, to show me that you understand the material. So each chapter has module learning outcomes. The module assessments, uh, you'll take a pre-module quiz that uh, demonstrates that you understand what you're gonna be doing in the module, and all those answers can be found in the syllabus. You'll do textbook problem sets, one for each chapter. Each uh, problem set is worth 15 points. Each module will have an exam worth 100 points. So roughly each module is, is worth about 20% of your grade, so five modules. Uh, the points are pretty much distributed evenly, so 20% for each module. So here's the actual schedule of, of the lecture materials. You have your, your lecture day and date. So there's about three to four main, con, uh, main topics for each lecture. So for example, our first lecture on August 23rd, which is Monday, we'll have a welcome to organic chemistry. We'll look at uh, a molecule called AZT. Uh, through empirical observation, we'll talk about the rules of bonding and a little bit about the syllabus review, not much because that's what this, in video, this video is intended to do. So for example, if we look uh, for module one, uh, there are six lectures that we're gonna go through for chapters one and two before we get to uh, exam one. So the exams as of now are intended to be in class uh, and there will be more on, on the format of those as, as that date approaches. So here's module two. Uh, again, read through that. You'll see it's similar format. Required reading, module learning outcomes, assessments. So that's, um, each module is laid out like that.
So as we get to the, the course grading scale and assessment schedule, so this is uh, probably what you're most interested in learning about. Uh, your letter grade here, these are the possible letter grades, A, B, C, D, F, and XF. This is a description of the effort to earn that letter grade. So numerically, the percentage of points uh, is listed here. So that's the percentage scale. Really what you want to think about is the points scale. So these are the points you're accumulating. So at the start of this semester, you're starting with zero points and you're trying to earn as many points out of 800 as you can. So for an A, you need to earn a minimum of 720 points. For a B, it's this range, a C, a D, an F, and an XF is failure due to academic misconduct. So how do you earn those points? Here are the assessments listed here in this first column, what they're worth, their percentage of the 800, the day date uh, that they're due, time start, and any time limits associated with them. So again, each module has an exam, each module has homework sets, the homework sets are due before you take the exams. Uh, you can submit them late, but you will, you will incur a penalty if you do submit them late through Canvas. Uh, again, so the, the, the quizzes as well, those are through Canvas. If you submit them late, you'll get a penalty for that. Uh, there's various professional development and engagements activities, which I'll speak about those uh, as they become due as well. Examination policies, I encourage you to, to really thoroughly read through this, uh, but, but stated briefly, your exams as of now are in class. The exams will consist of 25 multiple choice questions with A, B, C, D choices. And as of now, um, you'll be given a form which is called Immediate Feedback Assessment Test. The A, B, C, D choices uh, resemble like a lottery scratch off where, where you basically will scratch off what you think is the correct choice. If you're right, you'll see a star. If not, you get to scratch off again, but you incur uh, a point deduction as you scratch off. So what will that look like? If you get your first attempt right, you get four points. Your second is half of that, you get two points. Your third, one point, and your fourth attempt, 0.5 points. So as you go through the exam, you'll answer the questions and you will score your exam as you take the exam. So by the time you get to question 25 and you finish, you will know what you earned on the exam. I encourage you to thoroughly read through all these policies and understand them. Um, so more will, about that will be explained as the exams approach. Um, so here's some technology help resources. This is general stuff. I would say your best policy is, is to reach out uh, to these people first before you reach out to me uh, because I'm not a tech guru at all. So if you need general tech issues, contact iTech. If you need Canvas help, contact the Office of Online Learning. If you need Wiley Plus help, contact the Wiley uh, help desk. So here's a poem that you can read about the process of learning, which I think is pretty relevant. And then finally, to close off uh, the exam here in this in this syllabus, or excuse me, the, the syllabus tour uh, video, or the USM academic policies, I definitely encourage you to read all of these, because if you have questions, they're probably answered in here. The biggest thing is uh, we're going to be in person and USM has a mask mandate, so you're going to have to wear your mask. Please wear your mask uh, in class. Uh, as, as we start, we want to make sure that everyone's uh, as healthy as they can be for the uh, entire semester based on, you know, the time and effort that you're putting into uh, your learning experience at USM. You really want to get through the semester as healthy as you can be without any, any lingering health issues. So please read through these policies. Uh, there's a lot of different ones that pertain to a lot of different activities. So um, they're, they're all listed here. And all of these are posted in Canvas as well. 
So again, this has been uh, a syllabus tour for organic chemistry uh, one for the fall 2021 semester. You will have a, a quiz on this syllabus in Canvas. So I would encourage you to print this syllabus off so you have a hard copy. You can use that hard copy as you take the syllabus quiz. Also put the exam due dates in your calendar so you know when they are. Um, and so I look forward to meeting you all this, this semester and having a healthy and productive learning experience. Okay, take care.